2009 Red Mills Waterford Masters final. Always brings a star-studded field and tonight was no exception. Now let's take a look at the main contenders for tonight's prize. Trap 1 we have Seven Heads Bay owned by John O'Regan from Butlerstown. A son of Belly McMave and Travara Daisy is trained by Graham Holland. He was the winner of this year's laurels in Cork. Two, we have Oran Classic, owned by Elliot White and Des White and Ross Common. He's a son of Top Poncho and Joe Bluebell, trained by John McGee, already second in this year's Laurels and the Paddy Power Irish Derby. And in trap five, we brought Acres Turbo. He's owned by Mr. R and Mrs. M. Colburn in England, a son of Top Poncho and Riverside Bella, trained by Graham Holland, the second of his runners. He was most impressive when winning his semi final last week in 29.93. Here up behind traps now for the Red Mills Waterford Masters final and away they go from traps and trap number five. Broad Acres Turbo is going to lead into the opening bend from two on the inside. Oren Classic racing around the opening corner. A bump there in trap number five now. It's Broad Acres Turbo. Six St. Louis Spirit with two Oren Classic in second. Racing to the third bend and here goes Broad Acres Turbo. He's clear by two and a half lengths from the closing two and second. Oren Classic. St. Louis Spirit is in third with one seven heads bay back and forth. But rounding the home turn it's five. It's Broad Acres Turbo. is striding on from Warren Classic and back in third is trap number six St. Louis Barrett but it's five Broad Acres Turbo going on to score. Complete results of this year's 2009 Red Mills Waterford Masters final. First was trap number five Broad Acres Turbo owned by Mr. R and Mrs. M. Colburn in England the son of Top Poncho and Riverside Bella trained by Graham Holland. Second trap number two Oren Classic and third trap number six St. Louis Spirit the winning time 29.63. We're very, very pleased. Very pleased for the owner. He's, like I say, he's been a very good uh, law supporter for a long time. It's sort of um, bred between, he bred him himself, but we bred the brew bit, so it, it's a real good home win, you know what I mean? So we're really pleased. Yeah, can't believe it. It's like a dream. We're living a dream, but um, I'm sure we'll come back to reality shortly. Um, ground, ground racing is a good leveller, and uh, you'll sit, I'll sit on my feet firmly on the ground, I would imagine. Oh, definitely so. You know, Owen Classic is another dog like deserve to win a classic of some sort and um, he, he's been obviously second in a lot of classics so um, great greyhound behind him and obviously um, we, we, we were worried but we held on fairly well so I, I was watching two dogs so it's hard to concentrate on one thing so um, very pleased. Turbo is striding on from Warren Classic and back.